Hi, welcome to Amy's Box of Chocolates. Today, I wanted to show you how to um, make this little craft. It's something really fun the kids can do. And it makes this uh, pretty bottle. And it looks like colored sand, but it's actually just iodized salt. And what you do is you use uh, colored uh, sidewalk chalk to color it. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, and then what you can do after you've made different colors, you can layer them in different bottles. I got both of these from the dollar store, as well as this one, which actually came in a set of three. So they would make really nice gifts for um, grandparents. The other things that I have besides sidewalk, sidewalk chalk and the salt, um, I use, I just use a red solo cup. I do use a teaspoon measure just so I get even amounts of salt, but kids don't, kids probably don't care. So, um, but this, these layers are just a teaspoon, uh, three teaspoons. So I'm going to show you how I made that. And it's funny because I had a really good time. <laughs> And I even let one of my girls make uh, one of the colors too, and she had fun. So it's not just for kids, but I think the kids will have fun too. So I put just three teaspoons of salt. Again, you don't have to measure. That's just something I do, All right? And I'm just going to start with a blue chalk, and I'm just going to stir the salt basically is all I'm doing. not the prettiest sound you've ever heard and it could get messy if the kids are doing it so if it's a pretty day you could do it outside but it's not really it's just salt which is, is another thing is just it's harmless because um, sidewalk chalk is non-toxic and salt won't hurt your kids um, they won't like it but if they ate it it won't hurt them so that's kind of nice too so you just want to stir it. You want to stir it until you get the color that you want. So if you go, if you want a little bit lighter, you um, don't have to stir as long. If you want it, I mean, it's not going to get super dark, but it's definitely going to be um, more blue. If that makes sense. So I'm gonna stir just a little bit longer. Okay, now, I don't know if you can see in there very well or not, but there's our blue. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this really cute little glass jar. And I have this tiny little funnel. I think I got it with some um, olive oil bottles. It's a handy little thing. ledge on here and sometimes it gets stuck. There we go. And I'm making a mess so good thing I'm outside. Okay so for that one you know maybe I would do more than um, three tablespoons if I want or three teaspoons I'm sorry if you wanted to not have as many layers so that'll make a difference if you do more you'll just have fewer layers but you can layer different colors however you want. And it turns out very, very cool. And like I said, this would make a really nice gift for a grandparent or um, for a mom or for, I don't know, anyone that would appreciate your kid's artwork. Because that's really kind of what that is. They're making their own little, their own little sand art. I wanted to let you know that you can use a regular size funnel for this as well. And this is something the whole family can be involved in. You can just have everybody, you know, share the chalk and have their own little cup and 
Everyone can make their own little designs if you have uh, multiple bottles and, and just have some fun as a family. What I was trying to explain earlier was that if you used more salt at a time, then your layers would be thicker. So you would have fewer layers that would be wider versus if you use less salt, then you would have thinner layers and more of them. So also, if you kind of tilt it, you can build one side up a little to where it's thicker, the other side will be a little thinner, and it adds your adds a little depth and and shallowness to the layers. And this is a pretty inexpensive craft too, if you think about it. I got I went ahead and picked up salt from the dollar store. And like I said, the bottles were from the dollar store. And the chalk, I know they carry it. I had some already. You probably, if you've got little kids, you probably have sidewalk chalk. You probably have too much sidewalk chalk, so now you have something else you can do with it. Um, but it's a pretty inexpensive craft. And you can make quite a bit with just this one container of salt, too. All right, that's where we are so far. And this is cute too because this will have a little cork lid. Now if you're worried about it opening after you fill it, um, you could actually just put some um, hot glue if you want or if you want to do super glue. I'm not sure how super glue would work. E6000 would work really well probably. Just put some on there and then pop that in and let it dry and then that way you don't have to worry about the top coming off and salt going everywhere, unless you break it. Uh, and also you want to fill this as much to the top as you can. Otherwise, if it gets knocked around, it'll start to, if it's got room to move, then it'll start messing up your layers. This one, it's not all the way to the top, but it's pretty close. So I went to the Dollar Tree and picked up all of the items that you see here. It only cost me $8.82 for everything, and you can make this into a nice little gift. If you wanted to, you could actually break this out into multiple gifts because there are three bottles, three funnels. You could put the chalk in Ziploc bags and break those out into multiples, and you could also break the cups out. And so if you wanted to use these as goodie bags for a birthday party, that would be pretty cheap. I'm going to include a little instruction sheet uh, in the description box so you can print those out and you can wrap up your items um, like I have here and then you can include the instructions when you give that out. And there's the receipt and you can see how inexpensive that was. The salt was even less than $1.25. And here we go. And we are done. And then on something like this, you could just get like a little string with a tag and put a note on there if you were going uh, to give that to give that to grandma or, or mom or somebody. And you could just decorate it up real cute. Really fun, actually. And I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I had a good time. So hope you decide to try this out, especially if you've got little kids. They will have a good time. And I think you will too, actually. You'll want to play. So go have fun and make some memories.